had to remove the oil cooler to get it out of the way to be able to get this air brax drain. And I stuck a pickup in there and I was getting all kinds of real thick, crusty, carbony stuff out of there. And then sprayed some brake clean up in it. And uh, now it's starting to drain again. So we've got the hole unplugged. Yay. Unfortunately, we had to remove the oil cooler to do it. There's just no way to get to it. The oil cooler assembly is the whole filter housing and everything, which is nice. It'll get cleaned up. That hasn't been cleaned in 70 years. So I've got it flowing pretty good enough. I spray some brake clean up in the top. It comes right out the bottom. So we're good there. They really work better with those drains open. This side. Same thing, comes out down there. Okay, air box drains are open. Let me see about running some tubes so they're not slobbering all over the engine. That way we can get them down closer to the ground. Not much comes out of there, but you don't want it plugged up. So we fabricated some uh, air box drains there that are, the, you know, and uh, we got one on the other side that Buddy's putting on over there. Buddy's here again today for another day of work. <laughs> He's saying, hey. <laughs> so we've got the oil cooler ready to go back on, and it's all cleaned up pretty good there. The camera's a little oily because I've been cleaning parts like crazy. We found a bunch of new old stock gaskets, so we'll have everything we need. Um, these little gaskets here. Let's put together. It's gonna be fun. You notice how Phil's, fire did, what? Phil's, I'm gonna say, I'm recording here. Phil's gonna clean our oil pan because he thinks it's a little too dirty to go back on like that. <laughs> it, it just might be. Yeah. I'm under the 671 here, trying to get this little oil fitting uh, into there. And it's making me very mad. It's not lined up 100% straight, and it's a steel line. It's very difficult, and uh, I got oil running down to my armpit trying to do it. <laughs> Just trying to get everything prepared here. Uh, new liners will be in tomorrow, and then we'll be ready to start fitting liners. Air box is all cleaned out nice. Um, we got the air box drains are fixed. We've run lines for them. Um, that'll help it keep better inside there. You know, not ha ever having actual drains in there. That didn't do it any favors. Um, everything's cleaned up pretty well. Going to replace the air box covers on the back side today. Um, got new gaskets for all of those. Um, just getting things cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, again, parts come in tomorrow, so we'll start assembling and hopefully about two days of assembly and we'll have this thing fired up and running. I didn't pull the head on it. It was already pulled when I got here. Um, so there's a few things I see that are going to need to be addressed. There's some pretty nasty fuel lines that are on here. I'd like to see that stuff all get replaced. Um... Looks like he cut some hoses off. Those are all going to need to be replaced anyways. Looks like the original heating loop is still in the bus, so that's good. This still has the generator on it. Big carbon pile generator, so instead of an alternator. Uh, the new blower will be here tomorrow too. We've got the head cleaned up. Just, you know, we're not sending it to a machine shop. We're just cleaning it. Uh, it looks real good. Just got to go through and get it rebuild it, and we're going to check the valves for leaking real quick. I was just looking close at this head that we've started cleaning up, and I certainly don't like the looks of that. That. Looks like a crack to me. Mm -hmm. 
that's going to show up very well, but that is not a good sign. Son of a... I'm doing the, uh, spray it with brake clean and see the crack disappear before your eyes. Magic trick here. I don't have any kind of a, like a Magnaflux or a dice test stuff, but... Gotta get a magnifying glass out and take a look at this. It, it certainly looks like it's cracked actually all the way through to both sides. That is going to be a setback for this. And that's where these two valve heads always do it at. So I talked to Stan and he said, uh, and I gave him the idea of this, this other head. This is the head that came off of the 4103 that's outside. And he said we could go ahead and use this head on this engine on this 4103 to get it going. It's more of a priority. Uh, and I was just doing a little inspection on this one. Same story, different head. Sure looks like a crack to me. Dang it. Well, UPS didn't do us any favors there. I guess it could have been packaged better with tape across that perforated line there. Hopefully everything nothing's in there is damaged. PC Industries, power line components, sent out our stuff. Uh, most everything is here. There is one box that's missing. It's show, it says uh, be here tomorrow uh, per the tracking number, but actually all of these boxes showed up a day early. So we got us this stuff a day early, and then uh, the other one's going to be here tomorrow. So it's not lost. It's just going to be here the day it was supposed to be here. But uh, starting to go through and get things going. Lots of liners to fit. Okay, we're making sure all of our liners fit good. Just going through and getting everything cleaned up and ready to go. Had to take all the cosmoline off of it. There's still a bunch on the inside. So the old junk heads sitting around, they're all cracked. And since the two new heads on the project we're working on now are cracked, if anybody that watches our channel has a, uh, an old 671 you want to get rid of or a 671 head, uh, maybe we can see about getting some people to Maybe they just got an old engine sitting around that they don't want. Maybe we can get it donated to the Bus Boys collection here so we can have some more parts to, to get for these. So we can get more of these buses running and driving. We definitely hit a snag today with both of these heads being bagged. That, that really stinks. So, yeah, we're not having a very good day today. Um, just one thing after another after another. Um, again, just a reminder, if somebody does want to donate something to them, because they are a 5013C or whatever that is, um, so it would be something you could deduct on your taxes or something too. So if, you, if you've got an old engine, uh, 671 engine that you would like to get rid of or something, maybe we can see about getting it here to us. Um, just so we have more parts to choose from or, you know, they could use anything. And we're definitely at a shortage of heads right now. So 671 heads we definitely need. So if you've got an old one sitting around that you think is good or something, yeah, think about donating it to them. You can deduct it on your taxes. Um, that, that would be nice. Help everybody out.